Hello, so let's talk about the longest happy string. So a string S uh, is called happy. Uh, it can only contain this constraint. So what does this mean? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So S only contain the letter A, letter B, and letter C. And S does not contain the continuous AA or BBB or CDC, right? And S contain at most A uh, for the occurrence of letter A and B, B, C, C. So this is pretty much it, right? So just for example, uh, if A equal to 1, B equal to 1, C equal to 1, right? You need to generate a string that is valid uh, using the given input. So uh, you are just like, you are passing the 2C, uh, 2C in the front, right? So when you have 2C, right? Uh, if you pass it another C, then you validate, uh, you, you validate this constraint, right? So you need to pass in what? Another character uh, such as a, right? And then you continuous, uh, continuous append another two c. So it was five. Now you was what three, right? Now you have another character for b. So you you uh, you append the b, right? So this was b. Uh, this is zero. This is zero, right? And basically, like uh, you you document the uh, you you document another two c, right? Now the the value string is what C C A C C B C C right. So this is the answer, right? And uh, what uh, what you will, uh, what you will need to do is what you will need uh, you can use a recursion solution. So what I will do is what I'm going to I'm going to just uh, have a helper function and I'm going to say A B C for integer, right? So this is integer, and I'm going to have a string string represent the ABC uh, ABC as well right so whatever I whatever I did right my A is what greater than B my B is greater than C so in this function I need to compare if anything is not uh, does not value with this com uh, with this condition I, I need to swap so when I swap I need to just relo uh, relocate my A my A with A my B with B, my C with C. So this is pretty much it, right? And um, so I can use at most two, at most two uh, character for a, for A, B, and C. Then I need to find out what is the uh, what is the next character I need to uh, I need to use if I cannot use the most frequency character, right? So I will use what I will use the second character uh, for the following, which is B. Beyond, be honest, right? A greater than B greater than C, and I need to use a B character. So this is going to be pretty much it, right? So the idea is that you need to continuously use uh, use the word. Uh, I mean, use the character until you cannot use it. So even though the C is uh, C equal to one for leftover, and then, then we are not, uh, we don't have to worry about this, right? So uh, I'm gonna say return. Uh, uh, I can I need a couple function. I'm going to generate. So I need to pass an in integer A B C and letter A, letter B, letter C. So uh, I'm just copying this, and this is going to generate, right? And then I need to pass in the string. And I'm, I'm going to call a string, db for string, cc, right? I need to check the condition. If a is less than b, right? If this is a condition, return generate, right? Return generate, b, a, c, db, a, c, c, right? So I, so I will swap the integer and string, right? At the same time. So when b is greater than a, I need to swap the integer and also the string. So I check the A and B of all the B and C, right? So return generate. G generate, right? Yes, okay. So A so A does not change, right? I spell this wrong, sorry. So so A does not change. And C change, B change, right? A A C C D B, right? So uh, once you fulfill these two conditions, right? The A is always the one, the A is always the biggest one, the C is always the smallest one. And then at some point, right, B will definitely become zero. Okay. So I so I would just have to I would just have to return a string uh, 
for the integer a or the integer 2, right? So imagine the a, so in, just, I mean, just imagine if a equal to 5 and b is already equal to 0, c is already equal to 0, you can only return a a. So this is the idea, right? So I will say return and using the repeating, uh, uh, a repeating method for string, right? And I need to decide how many, how many frequencies, it's either 2 or a, right? Integer a, right? So this is going to be pretty much a, right? So once I have, so once I have the string, I need to know how many times I need to use, right? So I'm going to say use a equal to the total number uh, minus math I mean. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is uh, this is math I mean. Sorry, this is math I mean. Math I mean. So how many times? It's going to be two times or eight times. It it, it decides. A could be one, right? So the minimum between two and one is one. But a could be 5 as well, right? So 5 and 2 should be 2. So this is use a, how about use b? Use b is actually equal to what? a minus use a. If this is greater than equal to b, I need to append. So the total number for a, so imagine for this one. Sorry. So imagine for this one, total number if this is 7. 7 minus 2 is actually equal to 5, right? 5 is greater than, greater equal than what? Uh, uh, greater equal than 1, right? So uh, for this one, I need to append one character, right? And if this is less than, if this is less than, if a minus u say, right? If this is less than b, uh, I would definitely, well, I would definitely swap the order, uh, swap the order for the top two condition, right? And then this is zero. If this is the case, right? So one is zero. All right. So uh, I need to return a dot repeat, right? How many times use a time, right? Plus uh, bp dot repeat. How many times use b time, right? So once I well once I have use a and use b for the integer, right? I need to update my a b b b and c c, right? So I will say generate generate a comma b comma c a minus use a b minus use b c c. So this is the idea, right? You recursively oh I made a typo. Uh, this is A, sorry. This is uh okay. I apologize. This is B A A and this is A minus U A. And this is B minus U B. Sorry, I was kind of like lost. Alright. So this is the solution. So uh, once again, uh, sorry for the mistake, but whatever, I'm going to repeat again. So here it is, here, so here, so here is the, uh, the solution. So I'm going to create a generate uh, helper function, passing the integer a, b, and c with the string a, b, and c. So I'm going to check the condition to just swap, swap the order. So which one will go first? Definitely the largest one. This is the largest one, this is the smallest one. And this is the middle. And the middle could be equal to small, uh, definitely, right? So if the middle, if the b is actually equal to zero, right? Then you just have to return the, the value. The value is either two or the frequency a. It, it, it decides, right? It's, you have to take the minimum. Then how many times you are going to use for uh, use for character A or string A, it, de uh, it actually decide for the minimum between A or two, right? And then, and then once I have it, so once I well once I have U A, I need to calculate does the A minus U A is actually greater than or equal to the frequency B. If this is true, I need to uh, append one character after uh, uh, after the U A, right? So it should be B something like this, right? Then. Um, so now I can generate a string. So you, uh, a a dot repeat. So this is string. B b b dot repeat. This is another string, right? And then I need to keep updating, updating my a a and b b b and c c. And this is the integer. So a minus u c, b minus u c, and c does not change. So you just uh, just uh, put c over here, and a a b b b c c is always a b and c. So these are the these are always the same. So you are not changing, right? So this is pretty much it, right? So you will recursive, recursively call until b equals to zero, to be honest. And let's talk about the time and space. Uh, for the time, uh, you definitely need to like finish everything. So 
I mean, uh, every single um, every single integer, to be honest, right? You will definitely finish until b equal to zero. And uh, the time is going to be what? Uh, a plus b plus c, for the worst case. And then the space is also the same, right? Space is also the same. Uh, the worst case is going to be 7 plus 1 plus 1, so it should be 9. But in this case, you are not, uh, you only have what? Uh, 8 by 2, 4, 6, 8, right? Yes. So for the worst case, definitely it is, right? Time and space complexity for uh, for these questions, all of them, I represent as a plus b plus c. All right, so this is the solution. So uh, the idea is using the recursion. So this is pretty smart. Uh, I was like learning from from someone else. So if you understand, I leave a like, subscribe if you want it, and I will talk to you later.